Hello pretties, welcome to Mr. L. So today I have a swatch party slash try on for the first time of the new Lardy Los Angeles Whimsical collection. I came out last Friday and y'all know I love Lardy Los Angeles so I bought the whole thing. <laughs> and so here we are. Um, the collection comes with a set of brushes, a bag, as well as an uh, eyeshadow palette. So because there's some new brushes, I kind of want to try the new brushes. Um, so we're going to do like a full face of things, just trying out new things and kind of see. Some of those brushes are brushes that I've never owned before, like a stippling brush and whatnot. So that would be interesting. Um, I do want to say the lighting is shit. Hey Athena, you haven't been in one of my videos in a while. It's been, it feels like Seattle in here. <laughs> that is the basic description I give it. It's like perpetually about to rain. It's been cloudy for three day, uh, for three weeks actually, <laughs> almost three weeks. And it's cold, which is fine. I appreciate it. it Cause it's, it's cold, but it's like cold for Texas. Okay. It's like 40 degrees. <laughs> um, it like goes between like 40 and 60 for the last couple weeks, which is fine. I, I'm perfectly fine with the, with the cold cause I don't have a really strong sweater game. It's the fact that there's no sun that's really been bothering me and like messing with like my filming or whatever. I do have my artificial lighting up so I can turn it on if I feel like the lighting just is just shit <laughs> and I will but I would like to not get to that point anyway my dogs okay wish you're good so I do want to try to recreate the look that's in the pamphlet um, she's also posted it on her Instagram and I posted and I made a comment on her Instagram like hey can you guys do a tutorial on how to do this eye look. Um, they like the comment, like the official web, uh, like Instagram from Lord Los Angeles. They haven't done it though, because I've been checking. <laughs> but I have a pretty good idea. I think she has that like creamsicle shade, like the little, I'll show you. Um, she has blended into the olive matte shade. And then it, ha it looks like there's a little bit of the black on the outside. It's a little darker than normal. And then it looks like she just has the olive shade Kind of all over the lid so there's that i can't really see what's on the under eye i would assume it would be the olive shade but your guess is good as mine because you can't really see on the photo all right so i guess traditionally as of me i obviously did not just order the collection <laughs> i ordered some extra stuff i'm assuming that's what this is right here because i ordered some extra brushes yeah so i ordered a couple of extra of the L11, which is my favorite. This is not right. <laughs> okay, yeah. So this should be two L11s. I've definitely ordered two extra L11s, but I only see one L11 here. Am I going to have to like email them? <laughs> I hope not. And it seems like they gave me. It's okay. I did get an extra one of the L34, L33, and L32. I don't think that's right. I don't think I ordered extra ones of those. And the L31. They messed up my order. God damn it. I'm going to have to email them. And I did... Okay, they sent me... You know what, guys? This is the actual brush set, not the extra brushes I got. Silly me. Okay. So there's 11 brushes. Let's open them. This is going to be a longer video, FYI. So just putting that out there so this is the l34 now this is supposed to be mostly for cream products it could also be a foundation brush i think i'm going to use it today for cream bronzer maybe i should apply some cream blush too while we're at it okay and then we have the l11 this is the one i'm probably not going to use today because i want to use the other ones um which is ooh, this is so much softer than her previous brushes like this is really nice Oh my god, I'm so glad I got extra ones of this. This feels so smoothing. Okay, this is my favorite foundation brush. So I, I got some extra of those. Alright, let's see. This is the L33. Which is like a big powder brush. Okay. I did not get my sponge wet. Because I'm assuming I'm going to be able to do a full face with all these brushes. We'll find out. Okay, this is a simple brush. This is the one that I'm being the most curious about because I know Scott Barnes swears by stippling brushes for foundation so I'm really curious I've never used a stippling brush before I did watch some Scott Barnes videos before this because I wanted to make sure I got the right ones <laughs> okay and then you have the L31 this is one that I did get an extra one I know that it's a it's supposed to be for powder and I can see now why 
this should be a powder brush but i kind of like it and i kind of want to see if it work with cream bronzer i'm not going to test that out today because well whatever this is so pretty nice okay all right now we moved on those were the face brushes now we move on to the cream brushes sorry the eye brushes so this is supposed nope this is <laughs> we're still in the face brushes this is the highlighter brush this feels so big compared to her other one it just looks hold on i'm gonna see if i can find it there it is so these are all of her highlighter brushes i mean you can use it for anything because i know this one she said it was good for like the under eye um this one it's kind of like a longer version of that one but this is the highlighter i guess now we're moving on to the eye brushes <laughs> okay so i know i got an extra one of this one and I will say though it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be I'm curious to know how she got it in her eye because she has really small eyes <laughs> how did she get that in there we'll find out I guess um, okay so that's one of the eye brushes I was really excited for this brush because it reminded me of this other one from Makeup Geek bam see they're kind of similar but this one's a little bit bigger, a little bit fluffier too. So I wonder if it would be easier to put this all over the lid. I got, I know I got an extra one of these ones as well. Because I, I like that shape brushes a lot. Then you have this one right here. Which is a bit of a flatter version of this one. I'm sure you can use this to, for all over the lid. But this also reminds me of one of her previous brushes. But that one is very flat. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Here it is. Bam. So this is the L19. And then this is the L39. So they're kind of similar shape. They're both very fluffy. I do love this for my under eye, but I think this one might be for something else altogether. <laughs> okay, and let's see. This is supposed to be like her regular like blending brush, which, oh my gosh, I think how hair my nose. Um, reminds me of another. Lara Los Santos brush, if I can find it. Nope. Here it is. Okay, no, this one is definitely smaller. This one's fluffier. But this one is the L26. This one's a little smaller. I don't think she has anything this quite this size. I'm like trying to look through my old Lara brushes or older collections. I don't know. I don't think she has anything else like that. And then there's this one. I do believe she has something similar to this already. Or maybe I personally have something similar to that. I mean, I do have something literally almost exactly the same. But this is from um, Doll Tan. Interesting. I don't think she has anything like quite like that from her collection. These are not my necessarily favorite kinds of shades, but we'll deal. Okay, I've made a mess. That's okay. Athena, I'm surprised you're still up here. These are the extra brushes I got <laughs> of the same collection because... I'm extra. Okay, so I got, let's see, I got two extra L11s, which I need a wood because they're my favorite kabuki brush. I got an extra one of the L31, which should be this one right here, just because I really think this would be a perfect shape for like bronzing and contour. So I got another one, I really liked it. I got an extra one of her blending brushes, pretty much an, an extra one of this big flat one, which I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna put it all on the floor and pick it up afterwards because it's my desk is too crowded. It doesn't fit. Um, then we have the bag. I'm gonna go get the other two bags that own all of them. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did put the lights on just because it make it easier. So these are the other <laughs> brushes that, bags that she has. This is definitely the more neutral ones out of all of them. And now Gaia has joined us. Lord. So this is the pinkiest one of them all. This is like a peach shade and this is a tan shade. Not sure if that helps. But that way you can kind of see that different change of tone. There's a slight rosiness to it, but it's definitely more tan. I really do like this bags. I think they're really nice. Okay, what else I got? <laughs> Um, I got two more of the sponge because I really love this sponge. my favorite sponge. And then there's just the palette. Okay. Let's see. I had seen 
someone compared this palette to her previous one, the Nudie Number Two. So here's the Whimsical Nudes, and it's just kind of flat. I'm curious to know how big the eyeshadow pans are. It says 0.49 ounces or 14 grams. 14 grams, 10 shades. Hold on. Wait. There's 10 shades. Point, so it's there almost 0 0.05. This should be like slightly less because if this is 0.49 ounces total and there's 10 shadows, but I'll have a 10. So they're almost 0 0.05. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's pink. I don't know why I thought it was going to be a neutral shade. I had seen this. Somebody showed this online. I thought that was really cool. It has like a forest inside. It's actually really pretty. But yeah, there's like a little forest inside. That's cool. I like it. So I, when I saw this online, I really thought this was going to be like a nude shade, but it's actually like a pink. It's like, it's a very nudie pink, but it's pink color. And that's what it looks like. This is raised right here. This feels nice. It's pretty. I like it. I had seen it though that it's not the same size as the other two. So Cat's Pajamas and Nudie Number 2 are the exact same size. Um, but I heard that this one wasn't. So I kind of want to compare it. And it's just slightly trying to like level it at the bottom. It's just slightly longer. Ever so slightly. Which is fine, I guess. Okay. And... I like to keep these, and a lot of people don't. Um, and then this is the palette. This looks very orange on screen, but I will say it looks a little bit more nude. It doesn't look as orange. It looks a little more brown in person. And I'm glad because I really did not want it to be like a just straight up orange. And I see, think that's a good representation. Like it's more brown than orange because I was really scared that it was, in fact, an orange shade. I just, I'm not into oranges. I haven't been into oranges in a while now. So it's just a personal preference. Okay. I would say though, this shade right here, Bronze Meadow, reminds me of Tiger Eye from J So Jaded. Give me a sec. Okay, so I brought out So Jaded because I want to compare the two shades. <laughs> um, so here is Tiger Eye. I will say though, Tiger Eye is a dual chrome. This does not look to be a dual chrome. But okay, so this is Bronze Meadow from Laura Lee. I think Bronze Meadow is actually more green than the one from So Jade. It. Yeah, the one from So Jade looks, it, I mean, there's an olivness to it, but I don't think it's the same shade at all. Yeah, okay. They just have a similar feel to it. That's good. I. I mean, I don't like to have too many repeat shades of themselves. They do have similar vibes, I will say that. But this one's definitely a little more golden. There's still that green flip to it. And this one's more green with a little bit of more of gold flip to it. Does that make sense? The formula is different, though. This does not... This feels like Nudie Number no. 2's cream formula. Specifically, I'll, I'll show you guys. That Like the two new special shades she has. Um, Chicky and Nude. If you felt it, they, they feel almost putty creamy, but chicken. And, oh gosh, these shades are toppers versus this one's. This is not a topper, this has a lot more pigment than I was expecting. So, like I said, it's similar, but it's not. Um, okay, this definitely feels like a creamsicle, like mustardy shade. I was hoping that this would be a little deeper. I know that this built really well, but I feel like I'm gonna have to build it a lot to get to the pigmentation that I want it to be, just because it's a lot lighter than I wanted it to be. I wish that would have been like two shades darker, just because I just feel like if you have a deeper skin tone than me, that's gonna be almost like a cream shade for you. I just don't think that that was really color inclusive. I think it needed to be a little darker. Um, this is just a cream matte shade, nothing, yeah, not particularly, nothing to be right home about, but very necessary shade, at least for me it is. Um, okay, she hasn't had a black in a, sh in a palette since, this is way more intense, okay, she hasn't had one since literally Cat's Pajamas, and Cat's Pajamas is now discontinued, I just want to take out Cat's Pajamas and just swatch it, comparison to it. 
Just for the fucks and giggles of it. <laughs> Remember, also a reminder, Cat's Pajamas is old in my collection. Like, I've had this palette for like five years. Um, there's a two. Cat's Pajamas uh, Black is supposed to be a bit more on the buildable side. It is not supposed to be an immediate black black. And this one from uh, Moonless, this one felt a lot more intense from the get-go. It, it was more pigmented. So definitely you're going to want to be more light-handed with that one. Just since I'm here, I want to compare Cedar Rose which is that orangey shade to, is it Cray Cray? Yeah, it is Cray Cray, which is the more orangey warm shade in here. Okay, so this one's right here is Cray Cray. They have different tone. Cray Cray, surprisingly, it's a little bit more neutral because they look almost the same kind of orange. Let's see if that's, see, um, no, you can definitely see it now, now that I'm like comparing them. That one's a little more neutral. This one's a little more orange. Okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> um, let's see what else we're we comparing. We have. I think I've swatched all the greens except for winter and winter fern. All the mattes, sorry. These feel very buttery, which I'm not surprised because all of her mattes feel so buttery. Uh, so it's the the olive green one. Now she did say that this one actually runs a little bit more neutral. And I can see that. It's definitely an olive green. It's actually a lot more olive than I thought it was gonna be. I'm quite impressed with that shade, actually. <laughs> My fingers are all over the place. Okay, all right. And I mean, I guess we should just go into the mattes. I will say the shade that I'm like the least excited for is Golden Blaze. And that's just because I just haven't been into these like orangey shades in a while now, but why i will give it a try this one feels like a very traditional shimmer shade like this feels like her other shimmer shades it doesn't feel as creamy as the other ones which is fine that's totally fine i actually like her shimmer formula uh her regular shimmer formula just fine so okay this is manny now manny does feel like the cream to powder formula and it's very soft to champagne shade I definitely think that you can probably use that to like highlight, excuse me, highlight your brow bone and whatnot. Okay, and then you have Erin. Erin's like the surprising shade for me where I'm actually really excited for. These two are actually quite similar to each other, so I want to swatch Erin next to the other one. Okay, so definitely different undertones. This one's a little more orangey. This one's more like a rose pink kind of shade. It's the same one as here. All right, and then the last one is Sweet Willow which is this one right here. Now this one also reminds me of a shade from the So Jaded palette, and I think it's period. I, I know I'm not pronouncing that right, but fuck it, if we're here, we might as well swatch it, right? So, got So Jaded. And period is right here. Just gonna, oh, they're almost identical. So period, and then this one's the one from Laura Los Angeles. Period is a little bit more olive, and it's a little more subtle than the one from the Laura Los Angeles, but that they're very, very close to each other. Like, holy crap. Do you see that? Since I'm here, <laughs> I want to swatch now the olive shade in the So... It's actually called Jade in the So Jade palette. In comparison to that matte one from Laura Lee, I just kind of want to see. This one's also very similar to it. Um, this one is more neutral. This one's a little more green, more foresty green. But then they're quite similar. I want to wash my hands and clean up a little bit and then be right back. Okay, since we are here, I kind of want to... There's actually a lot of colors that I feel like are a bit similar to... This palette, uh, Whimsical Nudes, there you go, <laughs> to the ones here from Laura, uh, from the So Jaded palette. For example, you have this Sunstone that looks kind of similar to Golden Blaze. I will say the formula is very different, but the colors itself look kind of similar. Uh, I think if you combine Royal Jewels and 
citrine. You might get something similar to Sancho, obviously cream matte, uh, cream matte. Then you have Manny, which has like a pinky peachiness to it. It kind of reminds me of Moonstone a little bit here. But again, that's not me swatching them. That's just me from like eyeballing it. Um, and then you have Erin, which reminds me a little bit to Smoky Quartz. Actually, no, Smoky Quartz is a completely different shade. Interesting. There might not be anything quite like Erin, but actually maybe Moonstone is somewhere in between Erin and Manny. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to put it out there. There are some similarities between the two palettes. Nothing enough where I, don't, I think you only need one or the other. I just kind of want to put that out there. They're like, they look similar. Okay, I have already primed my whole face. <laughs> I like to go with eyeshadow first, so that's what we're going to do. Like I said, this is a long video, so I'm going to try to speed it up as much as I can and pause and whatever, wherever I need to. I'm going to grab the big-ass fluffy brush. Oh, hold on. Actually, I'm just going to grab my mirror here. Big ass fluffy brush just to kind of set my eyelid. I know not everybody likes to do that. I do, so I'm just gonna do what I like. Um, I mean, that went on pretty smoothly, pretty easily. Yay! Nice. Um, now I'm gonna go with that shade Sand Shell. I am nervous that Sand Shell might be too light. And not show up on me. <laughs> I have a, I'm a light to medium skin tone. I wouldn't necessarily consider myself to be dark skin, but if this doesn't show up on me, I'm very nervous for other people. Um, it shows up. I can see it. <laughs> can you guys see it? Hopefully, you guys can. It's. I'm gonna definitely have to build it up though. I wonder also if I'm having. I'm using the wrong brush for this. I think I may need to have something a little bit smaller to be able to pack on more punch. But we'll see. <laughs> I, I'm, I think I'm making it work with this brush just fine. Like I can definitely see the, I will say though, this brush is blending beautifully. I just don't think it's the right brush for building pigment which is what I need to do with this shade because it's a little it's a little too light I kind of wish it was darker like I wish it was a lot darker <laughs> but that's just the personal preference while I have you guys here I do want to talk about some changes that I'm going to be making next year for my content I just decided I can't I literally cannot keep up with three videos a week. I I'm, I just can't do it. I'm, I've been struggling all year to keep, keep up with it. And I think uh, one of the biggest differences is that, well, we're not really like COVID anymore. <laughs> you know, things are opening up and my, the things that I'm doing outside of like work are taking up more time than it used to. You know, when it was, a lot of things were still shut down. It was harder or it was easier, I should say, to fit in to film more videos. I'm gonna go with the Elder Set, which is a smaller Brendan brush. And I'm gonna try to build some of, I didn't grab anything. <laughs> I'm trying to build some of that um, olive shade. Um, anyway, what I was trying to say <laughs> is that I've just been struggling all year as more things are opening up and I, my social life is getting a little bit busier. Also, I decided that my knees are healthy enough for me to be able to go back to my football travel team. And that's just gonna take off a lot of my time because that means that we're gonna have football practices twice a week that I'm gonna have to meet now, um, that I have to show up to. And obviously I'm gonna have to be gone. I know we have at least two, we have a tournament in, the, in February, we have a tournament in May. We have a tournament in June, and we'll for sure have the big one in October. Um, and I'm not sure if we're gonna do anything else in between those. I'm not sure if I'm gonna participate for the February one, but I will for sure be going into the May one. I think February might be a little too soon for me, and I'm just not quite ready to make that leap just yet. Um, just trying to get out of the holidays and kind of refigure where I'm at financially after the holidays. I don't know that I can go on that trip because these trips are expensive to go on this travel tournament 
thing. Okay, that blended really easily. And I'm actually quite surprised because this green is actually quite pigmented. I was a little nervous that I was gonna have a hard time blending it out, but it blended quite easily. I definitely took it a little too far here, but that's okay. We'll clean that up with concealer. <laughs> no worries. We'll just clean that up with concealer. Um, where's the other brush? Here you go. I just wanna blend those two together. I'm actually quite impressed. That was so easy. Like, so, so easy. I'm really shocked. Um, anyway, so I um, decided to go around, you know, join, go back to my travel team, football, football travel team. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to, like, see how much black she has in her crease. I, I'm going to go with this little flat brush here and go into that black. And I think... She has it just on the outer V, and she literally looks very sharp. Her V looks very sharp. So I'm thinking it's just right here, and it doesn't look like it goes too, too deep because the, the green pops through very harshly. Not harshly, but it's very visible that the green is the primary, primary color. Can you tell the difference? Yeah, I think that's, that's how that looks. Okay, so yeah, this is this is a good shape. This is a good brush for like shaping that outer V. And because it is still fluffy, it was actually quite easy to do and it just blended right, in, right there where I needed it to. That was, this is probably like the easiest I've ever deepened an outer V with a black specifically, because I always scared that blacks are too intense. But this was so easy, okay, all right. I'm quite impressed with that actually, not just with the brush, because I am impressed with the brush, but I'm actually quite impressed with the black, because, I mean, we all know, blacks are notorious for being hard to blend out, but that just blended so easily, like this whole thing just blended really easily, and I'm kind of doing this live, <laughs> I'm, I'm having, I don't think I'm going to do much editing if at all, okay, now she said that her blushes, uh, this shades are really good with her brush here, so I'm gonna do that. I mean, is the pigment there? Yes. I just want to do it with my finger. I just feel like it's gonna be so much easier with my finger, so I'm just gonna. Oh shit! Yep, yeah, that's that's the that's the way to do it. <laughs> Look at all that. Look how easy that was. Jesus, so easy, peasy. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna go back to traveling, which again is gonna take up practice, and I still play regular season um, seasons during like during the year for football. Um, I think I'm gonna be doing two seasons this year or two different leagues this year, so that just takes a lot of time, and obviously I am studying as well next year to take my HR uh, certificate which is going to take a lot of my time as well. <laughs> so I just feel like I, it's not realistic for me to push myself to that point where I'm going to be doing three videos a week. I just don't think I can do it. I'm also going to not do nearly as many um, project pants next year as I did this year. And it's funny because even the year prior to that, I was even doing even more project pants, but I just think it's not realistic for me at this time <laughs> to be able to actually do that. So I'm not. Um, I'm for sure going to be doing the deck of panning project pan because honestly that project pan is so fun. You're just excited to like find out what it is that you're going to get this time around with like the cards or whatever. And it doesn't necessarily have to be to completion. There is a, quite a few products that I'm, I am trying to finish. But you know that's not necessarily the goal. You can set your own goals with this project pan which makes it so much easier for me. Um, Anyway, I'm just really quite excited for doing this. I'm going to be doing a deco pan for sure. I'm not going to be doing the advent calendar, mostly because I don't have item, like small items like that. That's the reason why I wanted to join this year was because I wanted to get rid of a bunch of like just sample size stuff that I had. But now that most of them are gone, I don't. I just don't feel the need to continue it. Like I said, I just don't have the items for it. Um, 
Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, so how close am I to the side look? I think pretty close. All right, so stip and brush. Let's do this. I'm a little nervous because I like I know they're supposed to be a little softer with a stippling brush. You're not supposed to put as much pressure. And I'm a little rough with my foundation brush. I'm like, <sighs> smear all over. So I'm trying to keep it in mind. I put a little bit less foundation than I normally would because I know with the stippling brush, you're supposed to put less on. And it's supposed to look a little bit more like an airbrush finish, which I will say that looks really nice. That, that, that does look very airbrush. Oh, I have a hair on my face. Not sure if that was one of the, the brush or my dogs because <laughs> it could be 50-50. <laughs> but that does look very nice. Like that looks very smooth. Another hair. Okay. I'm gonna think that's on my dog's hair. <laughs> because I just, it literally went right into my pores. Like that, that sounds kind of weird, but like it like smoothed everything out very nicely. I like it. All right, <laughs> moving along to the next part. Um, so anyway, let's brush your pans. Uh, the nail polish project pan will be coming to an end probably sometime in the spring of 2023, just because I don't have that many nail polishes left. And then all my new nail polishes, I just want to enjoy them and use them as I want. I don't necessarily want to put myself in, in a sense of like, I have to use them up. I just want to play with them. Um, cause they're new and I, they're all new. I don't have any uh once I finish the ones that are in my nail polish project pan, all the other ones that I have left are all brand new. And I just like I said wanna really enjoy my nail polishes and have fun with them. And yeah. Okay, well that that was nice. Okay, that was that was easy. I don't have any streaking, which I normally would wear my I would use my um what's it called? My sponge to like set everything make sure that everything looks smooth but this really does look airbrushed that like that's that's really nice i'm gonna take the lighting off see if that makes it a lot easier for you guys to see it okay can you guys tell how smooth my face looks right now because it looks really smooth <laughs> okay that was nice um gotta put my concealer on and i normally would put two concealers but I think I just want to wear the one and just fuck it <laughs> all right now it's time for cream bronzer which I'm gonna be using the my dogs I swear to god oh gosh okay so I have the L34 and I just have my one from Colourpop I can't quite tell one because I'm blind and two because the bristles are dark. How much I'm picking up? <laughs> I think I've picked up enough. So I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, that's blending quite nicely, actually. Okay, yeah, and that's blending really nice. Okay, no worries there. I I will say that I'm having a hard time. Being able to tell how much product I have in there. But overall, I mean, I feel like it's blending nice and easy. Nothing too crazy. And I think I'm just gonna go with the stippling brush again and just kinda fix the bottom a little bit. See how rough I went right there? I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, I don't have anything to like blend my concealer with i didn't think this through um <laughs> i think i need to grab something else to blend my concealer and i'll be right back okay so powder brush now tap 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 i think i grabbed too much i am nervous that this is like really big brush <laughs> and i don't particularly like really big brushes like this for setting my under <laughs> but I also didn't want to grab a different one just to do this okay all right so as I was saying <laughs> less project hands next year I think I'm 
I'm not, I'm still debating whether I'm going to join the graveyard project band because I just haven't performed so well in the, in that one the last couple of times. So there's that. Um, and then just extra goes everywhere else. Um, I actually think that did a fine job. Okay. I was a little nervous because this brush is huge. Way bigger than I would normally use. Okay. And now for that biggest bronzer bunch, uh, brush, where is it? Bam. The L31. I'm just gonna grab some of this right here. Okay, I'm having a hard time telling how much product I'm picking up because the bristles are kind of dark. But I mean, that was honestly the perfect brush for that angle right there. And right here too. That was... Oh my god, something went in my... Oh, oh no, something's in my... Okay, I think I got it. Oh, that freaked me out. Do it again. And I'm putting most of the product at the edge because I figured that's where I wanted it. And then the front should just be like for the blending purposes. I feel like I might have gone a little heavy on my forehead. <laughs> and I don't like it. So I'm just gonna just blend, <laughs> blend that out a little bit. There you go. Um, I'm confused why I started with bronzer before I finished my eyeshadow. I don't understand either. <laughs> I'm gonna have to grab a different brush to do my under eye. Sure, this is a literally brush too. I'm just gonna grab that winter fern shade, which is the olive green, and just run it right here at the bottom. There you go. So again, less brighter pants next year. And my it's, there's some series that I, I started doing monthly like my build your own palette that i'm gonna go down to doing on a seasonal basis i just don't think it's realistic for me to do that on a monthly basis i also don't have enough single shadows for me to be creating like palettes every single month so i i, I think i'm just gonna go down to seasonal I'm also decided to go on a replacement only uh, no buy. I am allowing myself to get presents <laughs> from my boyfriend, <laughs> which means I'm going to get some makeup, like new makeup, but it's not going to be nearly as much because I personally will not buy it. So it has to come from the boyfriend or it's not coming at all. <laughs> and the boyfriend has been, he's been on a kick lately where he does not want to buy me any more makeup. <laughs> So it, it's going to be definitely harder for me to get new stuff next year, which is what I need because I think I, I posted a video a long time ago of what I would, um, of like, like my makeup collection storage. And essentially I have a desk and has two drawers and all my makeup has to fit within these two drawers. Like I'm not buying additional storage makeup. It all has to fit within these two drawers. And I feel like it's been a little tight lately. <laughs> Um, and so, and there's a lot of product that I wanted to finish this year that I just know for a fact I'm not going to finish <laughs> this year. And that's okay, you know, because makeup, I, I definitely know that I'm going to have a lot of product that I'm, like, big items that I'm going to finish next year just because naturally that's the way it goes. Like, they're so close to being done. I just know that I'm not going to get him done in the next five weeks. And that's fine. You know, it happens. But I definitely do want to get them out of my collection. So I just need to not bring anything in and focus on those items. And kind of reevaluate where I'm at next year, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, just got to reevaluate that. I'm going to go with the same brush that I use for powder for blush. I think I'm going to pull out my Laura Los Angeles blush brush. So that, nope, that's my prism. Um, okay, let's just like here we are. <laughs> okay, and I think I'm gonna go with Peach Fuzz right here. And there you go. Nice. I really, I think I went overboard. 
When will I ever learn to like go easy with my blush? <laughs> oh no. Oh no no no. Because now I have to match it on the other side. <laughs> oh gosh, it's gonna be awkward. Okay, anyway, what I was saying is I, there's just a little bit less content that I'm gonna be doing and it's gonna be obviously a no buy and I'm actually gonna have to stick with it. <laughs> um, grab you guys brush try to marry that in. <laughs> Try to tone that down as slight, lightly. There you go. I think that's a little bit better. <laughs> um, I am not loving my cheeks right now. But I don't think that was the brush's fault. I think it was my placement on this brush is a little lower. On, on this side, it's a little lower than this one. And it just looks awkward. And I also went a little too heavy <laughs> with my blush. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put my mascara and my lips on and then we'll, we'll come back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I have a little bit of Mai Tai and just like a nude liner on my lips. And I did put um, well, black eyeliner on my waterline. But what do you guys think? I think I'm pretty damn close. I think, yeah. Overall, my face looks really nice considering I didn't use a sponge at all. I was actually quite impressed. I think. I'm like getting over my cheeks. I think now that it's like settled down a little bit, it actually doesn't look that weird. I actually think it looks nice. Um, so overall, the most glam I've worn, this is the first time I've worn like makeup makeup in like two weeks. <laughs> so I feel pretty glammed up. So quick wrap up of thoughts. The brush set, um, I actually quite enjoyed it. I was a little nervous this would be too big but it's actually so fluffy and so easy to blend it that it wasn't that bad overall i think these are nice additions to her other brushes the eye brushes but it's definitely an addition um you need other i think you would need other brushes on a day-to-day -day basis for her regular sh uh, brushes right here love that this is a little bit and i'm glad i got two more <laughs> and i really like the stippling brush surprisingly i just don't know how often i would do that i think i like the l11 better but it's actually really nice i really like this for powder and i can see now after using it for powder i think it might be a little too fluffy for cream products where i don't particularly like that for cream products i think this was really nice for cream bronzer actually this is the l34 that was really nice for the cream bronzer i'm excited to try it maybe with a cream uh cream foundation because i know this is like a foundation brush as well I'm also kind of want to try it with powder brush. No, sorry, powder foundation. I kind of want to test that out just to see how that will go. I think I have lipstick in my cheeks. All right. I just kind of want to test that out and see how that goes. Um, I like this powder brush. I was actually surprised how well it worked. Um, also for blush, I actually have a similar shaped brush from Real Techniques that I use for blush, but I can't find it. <laughs> oh, here it is. See, the kind of similar shape. This one's from Real Techniques. So this one's a lot flimsier. It's a lot softer. This one's a lot thicker. There's a lot, definitely a lot more bristles. This one's a lot, this a lot softer. This one just weighted wise weights a lot more than the one from Real Techniques. But I feel like I, again, I use it for blush. Same way. So I, I liked it. Except for that, I kind of like hold, held it all awkwardly. Overall, I really enjoyed all the brushes. I, I didn't particularly care for this one. This was a little... I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't like how big it was. It definitely deposited my highlighter a little softer, so I, and I do like that. I just, I don't know, the shape of it feels weird, uh, but it definitely was like a more subtle highlighter effect, which I do enjoy. So, you know, there's that. All right, so the eyeshadow palette, I don't think there's any new formulas uh, per se, because this one's right here. Yes, they're new, er, in the sense, like, but it's the same formula from the L Nudie number two. I think it's just that those were sheer, while well, this ones are a lot more pigmented. There's more payoff for them than the other ones. They're so soft and buttery. They feel so soft and buttery. Um, so yeah, there is that. But overall, I think it, it's just a really nice palette. I do intend to, because I have a baby shower I need to go to tomorrow, I do intend to use the, these two shades right here just kind of all over lit and just do it like a really really soft look so expect that probably on sunday even though that's gonna be tomorrow <laughs> um so just kind of putting that out there 
these just are just a little more intense but the formula itself is not new from Larly. they really like it the mattes blend it beautifully my only critique is i wish this was a little bit more neutral yes it's not as orange as i was expecting it to be and i'm glad for that but it's still a little more orange than i wanted to and i wish this was like two shades darker overall the palette works well and for my skin to i can make it work i just can see somebody with a darker skin tone than me having a hard time with this shade right here and this is just personal preference i just i would like this to be a little more nor neutral less orange but that's just i personally do not like orange shades at this time at a point in my life <laughs> there was a time where i loved them but i don't at this time um overall i think the palette is very cohesive this three shades right here are literally my everything i love playing with green i love playing with all of greens because they're a little more natural and i have brown eyes and they definitely make my eyes pop a little bit more so i personally love it i like blacks i know a lot of people don't like to have blacks in their palettes i personally do i i love black um so i don't find a problem with that i just kind of want to put that out there <laughs> i really like this palette i think it's one of my favorites she said but again this is color story just picks a little bit more to me um but yeah, I just, I wish this was a little bit darker and this was slightly more neutral, but overall, I can make it work. I just, I'm, I'm scared for somebody that's darker than me with this particular shade, because I feel like if, you might not have a transition shade, but I guess technically if you're darker than me, you can use this one as a transition shade, or a crease shade, whatever. Um, but there's that. Okay, this video has been ridiculously long. I'm gonna let you guys go. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!